welcome to another riveting adventure of VYV Z Garage. Um, my old red utes had a bit of a hiccup the other night going to work. Um, the engine was cutting in and out. Uh, I've done a scan, I can't remember the code, P16 something, it's uh, number one firing order or number one cylinder timing. Um, so I reckon it's the crank angle sensor, so we'll be changing this. So let's get into it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is over there the power steering reservoir. I'm just going to lift that off the fans and we're going to take the fans out. Just get this out of the way. They can just sit up there for now. Okay, now I'm going to show you your wiring plug. Most of you probably already know. Um, most of you, if you've had anything to do with Ecotex, you probably would have done this job or heard about it. But um, I'm just going to show you this grey plug over the other side. But this is the only spot I can really set the camera up. So I'll just show you the plug. All right, that's the plug there. You just squeeze it in at the back. Bit hard one handed, but that's it there. Unplug that. Now, these fans should just pull up and pull out, but you've got to do a bit of maneuvering. So, I'll put the camera back and we'll take them out. By the way, first step this is my air intake. I'll remove that. That was only a couple of clips at the front, but if you've got a factory one, it's the same thing. It's two. Um, plastic rivet things at the front you undo and just lift it out all right now you can watch me um try and manhandle these things out and you know um hold and design these so they'll catch on everything coming out Okay, so I'm going to show you a bit of a trick to get this um, bolt undone on the harmonic balancer because I've used rattle guns and that and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll show you a, a really easy way to do this, but first we're going to take the belt off, which most of you should know. So we'll just go and get a spanner for that. Right, our first tool of the day, 15 millimeter for your tensioner pulley. Righto, so what we need to do is that when you undo your harmonic balancer pulley bolt, it'll try and spin any clockwise, so we need to stop it. You're more or less trying to lock the engine, but I need to stop the engine from spinning any clockwise, so I'll just show you a trick that I've used before. You get your belt, so what I want to do to take this belt and what I'm going to do is wrap it around this way one more time double it up around the harmonic balancer then you've got to try and just weave it up through here and around your I could even go around those other two pulleys, that might be a better option. So, going around there, see I need to get it around, hang on, I need to get it around the um, alternator. So I think I'm just going to do that. <coughs> now, I'll just um, bring you around and show you.
I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's what I've done. I've gone around again with the belt because um, I think I've gone around the wrong way actually. Yes, I have. That's He's trying to stop it from spinning clockwise, so let me fix this up. So I've got to go you know, any clockwise. Sorry, I'm getting all stuffed up here. Um, so if I want to stop, no, that's right. If I want to stop that from spinning any clockwise, no, nah, that's wrong. Okay. been a while since I've done this, I had to do it on the on the other car. So let's see what I can manage here. Easier said than done, I think. You've just got to fold it and get it started. This is not working now. Okay, I've got that belt folded over. Make sure it stays around the balancer. And probably, although I don't really want to go around the tensioner because that'll just flex. So what I'm gonna do is leave it like that and when I spin this anti-clockwise, it'll actually tighten that belt up. So let me get set up with a big pry bar and we'll come back. Okay, I forgot to mention, this is an 11-16 I'm using. You can probably get a metric one to fit. But being an American-based engine, she is. So I'm just, she is um, imperial in some places. So I've got this ratchet. This is a King Chrome pry bar ratchet. Now you, you see that I've just turned it anti-clockwise and it's, got tension on this belt now so what I'm going to do is try and kill myself and undo this bolt sometimes you've got to put a bar on the end of this it makes it a lot easier but I'll have a go at it I'm going to try another setup because I need something really solid, so I'll be back. Righto, this is what I've come up with. I'm going to use this to get it off. No, I'm only joking. Um, same thing, King Chrome bar with the socket, but I've got an old jack handle that I've put on the end. So, I'm either going to kill myself. Or I'll end up getting this off, but they are usually mongrels, these things. Nah. Alrighty, well, I'll come down a bit. I shall have to check my tool supply and see if there's anything more solid that I've got. Alright, this is going to be a real mongrel. Look, at, look how tight it is. Okay, we're back again. It's now the afternoon. I've got the seal. So now I'm going to take the cover off down the bottom. I've got to unplug the wiring for the uh, crank angle sensor. Um, I'm trying to work out the best way to try and film this because you can't really see what I'm doing at this angle. Oh, you might be able to, but if I can move that there... It should be pretty right. Um, 
there's some wiring, there's a wire, there's a plug down here. Um, I'll see if I can show you. It's just very hard to, I'm going to shove the camera down there. No, hang on, I'll take the phone off. I'm just going to take this phone out, just, I'll pause it for um, I'm trying to work out the best way to try and film this because you can't really see what I'm doing at this angle. Oh, you might be able to, but if I can move that there, you should be pretty right. Um, there's some wiring, there's a wire, there's a plug down here. Um, I'll see if I can show you. It's just very hard to. I'm going to shove the camera down there. All right. Sorry. I thought I was recording before. I hope you can hear me. Um, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to unplug that and take. Then I'm going to take this cover off. One of the plugs is there. There's no bolts. It's just sort of pushed on to these studs. So, um, but you won't be able to see because I've got to put this phone back in the tripod, so. Righto, you're back in the trot. Alright, hopefully you got sound. Um, we're back in the tripod again. I hope you can see. I'll try and adjust this. Hang on. Righto, that's the best I can do. I hope this thing doesn't fall over, so. Well, so here we go. Uh, I've got a bit of a light here, but it's going to get in the way, I think. Alright. So, the crank angle sensor is unplugged. Um... Let me see how we go with this. These are pricks of things. Prick of a thing. Ah, there goes the light. Of course it's going to roll all the way under the different car. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. I've got to work this out. Okay, you can see how I've broken these in the past, but I had to get a... They're pushed onto a post. So I've got the screwdriver behind here. I just pulled it off. There's one on the other side. Or there's two. It feels like there's one at the bottom. Okay. Once you get one, I think you can manipulate it. It's been that long since I've done this. Um, and then I've got this top one. Let's see up. Okay. I'll give you a look. Because I really didn't want to break this. Like I said, I've broken. And I reckon it's that bit I've broken off before. It pushes over those posts. There's three of them. One there and one there. I just unplugged all the wiring down the bottom. I'll clean that up. Now that I've got it off in one piece, you know I'm going to tread on it, don't you? Um, I don't know if you can see, but you can see the wiring. That's the, um, you can see the crank angle sensor still there. There's two bolts holding that in. And that's uh, the cam one, I think. I think not, no. Uh, I don't know. Or, now I can't even see the other plug. Anyway, it might be, can't find the other. There should be something that plugs in there anyway. Um, oh yeah, it's up here. It is a cam one. It's a cam sensor up the top, see, 
Hang on, let me point to it. Just there. That's what it, that's what that one plugs into. Christ. Sorry everyone, I think I took some dopey pills this morning. So let's try this. Now can you see? Not real good. Okay. Gonna try again. Just about there, I've only got to undo the thing, but I'm going to have to adjust this phone again. Hang on. Right, uh, sorry once again for all that mucking around. Two 13 bolts, which are actually screwed onto those posts that I was telling you about to hold the shroud on. So, I've just got to undo them. Of course, the wiring's in the way. And... I'm probably going to kill this light again, but we're in the home stretch now. It's actually a bit, it's easier to put it back on. It's taking things off without breaking them that I've got a problem with. I'll give you a look at this to sort of further explain how I stuffed it up. Bit, um, I get a bit annoyed with myself sometimes because I've done this about um, on about four other occasions but when you don't do it for a while you forget that's the post that that shroud was clipped onto and this is the bolt that holds this is one of them there's another one exactly like this on the bottom of the um, crank angle sensor that's what that post clips onto all right, are you clear? Because I'm not. Ask me in a week's time and I won't know how to do this again. I'll go, oh yeah, yeah, I've done that before, yeah. No worries. Piece of piss. Let me at it. Your car will never run again. Anyway, you watch your YouTube, you you get a lot of good ideas off of YouTube and then you come to my channel and all you've got to do is just do everything the opposite to what I do and you won't have a drama there's the other one so that pushes on to I shall show you because I haven't actually trod on this yet those two and we don't have to remove the other ones on the other side so Okay, so this crank sensor should now come out. There it is. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to stop filming for a while and clean up a bit. I want to clean up a bit down there and um, try and compose myself, you know, after these little incidents that happen on these videos. And I'll be right back. Okay, while I've been off painting my toenails, the degrees of fairies have been here. And all that gunk is gone from there. And I've given this shroud a bit of a clean in and out. And oh yeah, I know, I know you're all sitting there going, oh, well, I could do better than that. And you can. Of course you can. And you should. You should do better than me. So I don't know what I'm doing. But that being the case, I'm going to continue. Just I'm the only one here, so I've got to do it. So, new crank sensor. Goes that way, of course. Plug on the outside. So, I'm going to put this one in first. Just get that one started. Then we'll get the top one started. Right, so 
that. I'm going to do these up tight. And then the shroud goes back on. Um, and we should be cooking with gas, eh? Right. The reason I unplug those wires is so they can get in the way. It's always a plan. So I'll just sort of put a little bit on that one. Tighten this bottom one up. They don't have to be mega tight as long as they're not going to come undone and rip your harmonic balance a bit. I've done that before. I've actually got a the drive belt went down behind the harmonic balancer and just mangled it. Broke the um, crank angle sensor, mangled the harmonic balancer. So that was the last one that I changed. So you would think I should know what I'm doing, but I don't. Um, okay, now I'm gonna, just going to get the seal, and we're going to knock that in before I put the shroud on. Okay, bit of a tip. Here's the new seal, right? I'm going to give you some number, right? Now this is top secret, so just memorise it. Don't write it down, or you'll have to burn it. That's a Kelpro number, okay? So if you ring up the parts place, give them that number you should get the right seal. Righto, don't tell anyone. Now, let's see if I can get this in. Bloody shit. There's nowhere on these cars to put any tools. I'll be back in a sec. All right, sorry, I've got to go and get a bigger persuader. Um, half of the tools are still under the white SS. Because um, if you watched the last video, you'll know I'm doing the handbrake on that. And I just got the parts today, so. Just tap this in. All right. She's in. Just feel around. Make sure it's gone all the way home, which it has. All right. I'm not going to put that up there because we'll go flying in, in a minute. So now, I'm going to put the shroud on. So the shroud just pushes on. Three pins. Clip this wiring in. Um, and I might plug it in actually. Oh, you've got to be joking. A little, um, little rubber come off. How's that? Alright. Hang on. Ah! The rubber's come off both of them. This one is for this. Okay. So down there... Under the car, it's the green one, which I can't reach. Hang on. Then the reason that happened, I've got a story, is, I don't know, I've probably said this in other videos, and I don't, I think you blokes might be the same, but my garage is like the Bermuda Triangle. And I will buy tools and think, that'll come in handy. That'll be good. When I go to get it, guess what? Can't find it. The aliens have taken it. 
and well, I thought well that was worthwhile because what I really wanted to do all right, you just got to push these right on till they clip I said <clears throat> till they clip that one's not on yet I'll get a little socket and do that yeah so I didn't really want to get the hose when I was degreasing this so I've got a little I bought a pressure bottle thing that you pump up put water in you pump pressure into it and just squirt water in and I've used it before you think I can find it no way I'm just gonna get a little socket to knock that other one on just got me um, 13 mil I'm gonna put that end around it watch me break it okay there you go. How's that? Precision, mate. Precision. All right. So now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to plug the wiring in down here for the crank sensor. And guess what? I've just lost the little rubber thing. It's gone behind. I reckon it's gone behind the. You're kidding me. Now. I've got to go and look under the car because I've lost it. Thank God I found it. Right, uh, you see how optimistic I was then? It's gone under the car. Anyway, it's going to come off again. I'm trying to hold it and get this clip in. Alright. Come on, go in. Go in. Gonna, it's going to be very difficult. Hang on. Well, not good. I shall try this way. That seems to be better. says oh, come on not yet oh. all right the gasket's getting caught And it won't, oh yeah, I got it. Okay, finally. It's clicked in. He says, acting like he knew what was going to happen. Um, oh, not again. All right, I've got to go and chase my light again. Okay, change of light now. So we're up to harmonic balance of time. So I'm going to go and get that and get the bolt. And um, see if I can get that back on. Tighten that up. Okay, back. I put a bit of Loctite on this bolt, but I just set it up here for now. Get this in place. I'll put a bit of oil around the middle of it. That's it. Get that in the keyway. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build it on, I'm just gonna tap it a bit, get it. That is not good for your crank to do that. That's why I did it. Revolving. Of course it's not going to go, but... Alright. Alright, where did I put that socket now? 13 sixteenths. I'll go and get it and we'll start doing her up. And so I get a bit of tension on this, I'm going to do the old drive belt trick again. So I can tighten that up.
Right, I'm going to take the extension off because uh, that's just asking for trouble. And then I'll probably have to go and get that big bar. Okay, I think, because I'm turning that clockwise, I've got to wrap the build around anti-clockwise. So I'll do that. I'll be back in a minute. All right, this will be fun. I'm using a spare one. I should have done that this morning. Um, I've got a spare one I carry in the car, which is an old one. And so I really don't want to damage the other one. So, all right, so what I've got to do, suddenly I'll fold this back and keep it all in one piece. All right. So you fold that back, just go around. All right, so that's this is a hard part, keeping it all straight. So, all right, that's gonna do. Then I'll go probably over this pulley. turn this build around so I'm going to go over that pulley the smooth one and of course it's not long enough why well, you know long enough too much slack somewhere so all right I'm, I'm just gonna have to go around the um, water pump and just do this but you really got to see how it's coming out of the bottom that's that's no good so it's actually turned itself Hang on. Hang on a sec. that's got to go under like I said this is the hard part That's not right. It's twisted, but I think it might. That's going to serve the purpose anyway. And I'll go and get the big bar. And yes, I know there will be a torque setting for this, but I've never done it because it's so hard to stop this from turning. Yeah, mongrel. Bloody mongrel. This is not going to work. Nah. I just haven't got this set up properly. So, everything out again. Yeah, it's turned there. It's turned there. It should be like that. Should be like that, that's better. I'm trying to get it underneath the the other post for the shroud, but doesn't want to go. So I'll try and go around here and see if I can get it on, which I can. Plenty of room. So let's see if I can get it around here. But I can't get on the alternator. Oh, yeah. Now, it's that. 
that'll do. Not a hundred percent about this. It is tightening it. Alright. I'm gonna get around the other side here. Blokes are going, oh Jesus. Well, when I make the next video about how to remove the harmonic balancer from the radiator, then you'll know that I did something wrong. It's never happened yet. But never say never, isn't that right? Okay, we're just about done. Um, I can never ever remember how the hell this bloody belt goes, eh? Never. Every time I think I get it right, it's wrong. So, I'll try and put a picture up of how it actually goes. And, um, just let me see, I don't want to film it because I already look like a big enough idiot, so just let me see if I get this belt on. Righto. I never get this right, eh? I always forget which way it goes. But I've got it on, and I will put the diagram up for you. Um, I think I'm going to get the keys. I won't put the fans and that in yet. I think I'll get the keys, and we'll see if this thing's going to fire. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's, um, hang on, I'll put a light on. If I can. Okay, moment of truth, let's see if she fires. Good old Eco Tech, eh? Looks good. Hopefully, no more oil leaks. Um, that's going to do me. You just got to put your fans back in, but I want to clean these fans up, clean all the shroud and do it all properly, and I might clean the engine up a bit more while it's like this. And um, put your power steering back on, and that's about it. So, I hope you got something out of this video or you've learned what to do or what not to do. And um, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you to everyone for your comments. Uh, especially on the last video. It was really encouraging. Uh, the installation of the brake shoes is coming up. But um, whether I get time this weekend, that remains to be seen. Anyway... Thank you again for putting up with me and watching all the shit and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.